Hello everybody, today is January 13th, 2012. I had a laugh when one of my subscribers sent me the link to this webpage. I am sure glad you guys watch out for me. <laughs> Homeland Security given green light to monitor American journalists. Yay! We're on the watch list. I knew I was. Back in the 70s, I was on the watch list too. And that was because of my anti-war activities and sending um, letters you know, to stop the war in Vietnam. I also was helping then Congressman Ryan collect signatures to impeach then President Nixon. And I got out of politics after they assassinated him. Anyways, back during that time, they were intercepting all my mail. And I was only in high school. They actually sent somebody, I don't know, FBI, CIA to my high school, talked to my friends, my teachers. It was rather amusing. But all my mail was accidentally damaged in handling and resealed in a federal government envelope. And these were letters from my cousin who lived in Ohio at the time. Anyways, once again, I'm probably on the watch list because, you know, I'm an American journalist. This article reads, under the National Operations Center Media Monitoring Initiative that emerged from the Department of Homeland Security in November, Washington has written permission to collect and retain personal information from journalists, news anchors, reporters, or anyone who uses traditional and social media in real time to keep their audience situation aware and informed. And seeing how I give you guys information that no one else will cover, I'm probably at the top of the list. <laughs> According to the DHS, the definition of personal identifiable information can consist of any intelligence that pertains to the identity of an individual to be directly or indirectly inferred, including any information which is linked or linkable to that individual. And so often we're just held guilty through association. That's the scary part. It could just be an acquaintance and you're held guilty by association. The article says at RT at Previously established guidelines within the administration say that the data could only be collected under authorization set forth by written code. But the new provision in the NOC's write-up means that any reporter, whether someone along the lines of Walter Cronkite or a budding blogger, can be victimized by the agency. I noticed today that I can't even reply to comments posted on my videos. And they're my videos also included in the roster of those subject to the spying are government officials, domestic or not, who make public statements, private sector employees that do the same, and persons known to have been involved in major crimes of homeland security interest, which itself opens up the possibility even wider. The department says that they were only available while retaining data, but it doesn't help but raise suspicion as to why the government is going out of their way to spend time and money, of course, that they don't have, and resources on watching over those that help bring news to the masses. I think that's because we're in an undeclared war right now. Just because they haven't officially declared war on whatever country or situation, they only do this when our country is at war. You know, the old saying, loose lips sink ships. There was one article of, oh, about a month ago, that they actually asked all the news services not to post, to hold the information. I can't remember right now what that article was. Anyways, it goes on to say, according to RT, the website Fast Company reports that the NOC monitoring initiative has been in place since at least early 2010, and that the data is being shared with both party sectors, businesses, and international third parties. Hmm. So are we sharing this information with the Russians along with our missile defense data? That'd be interesting. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everybody up to date. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye now.